This is the easiest and most delicious salad you'll ever make. Dice up some cucumbers, tomato, slice some lettuce, add a drizzle of olive oil, salt, dried mint, the juice of half a lemon, toss and enjoy. What's up y'all? Today I'm showing you how I make my favorite salad, chicken pesto Caesar. Let's do it. A little bit of rotisserie chicken, shredded it and heating it in olive oil. I finally diced and washed this lettuce and then I'm going to add in some sliced cherry tomatoes. Half of an avocado and this is how I get the seed out, but be careful. A few diced green onions, add the rotisserie chicken, some Parmesan cheese. These plantain garlic croutons from Trader Joe's are so good. Light Caesar salad dressing, spoonful of pesto. Seriously, you guys are going to be obsessed with this salad. My favorite salad, three cups of cucumbers, three cups of tomato, a quarter cup of red onion, a tablespoon of dill, teaspoon of salt, half a teaspoon of pepper, quarter cup of white vinegar, quarter cup of avocado oil, half a tablespoon of stevia. Mix, refrigerate, and enjoy. You can tell I'm really excited here because I just made the sweet green so chicken pesto parm at home. First, get your tomatoes ready. Just wash them and chop them. Now we're making the spicy broccoli. I steamed mine in a little bit of water for a couple minutes, and then I added some sriracha, salt and pepper, and then set them aside. Next, for the zatar breadcrumbs, all you need are panko breadcrumbs and get the zatar seasoning from Trader Joe's. It smells heavenly. I toasted them for about six or seven minutes and they got this perfect golden brown color. For the pesto vinaigrette, all I did was use a couple teaspoons of this. Trader Joe's pesto, added some olive oil and red wine vinegar and whisked that together. This, by the way, is the most delicious salad dressing, I am convinced. Then I just added in some washed baby spinach, some microwaved quinoa, we've got our spicy broccoli, we've got our tomatoes, we've got the zatar breadcrumbs, so good. And of course we have the Parmesan cheese. I'm just using some store-bought roasted chicken from Trader Joe's and then adding this delicious and heavenly vinaigrette. It is so good. Follow me for more easy recipes. my mom's low carb chicken salad recipe. You're gonna start by chopping some celery, red onion, and a few hard boiled eggs. Throw it into a big bowl. Then she's cutting one whole rotisserie chicken without the skin, then three big spoonfuls of mayonnaise, salt, pepper, and she stirs it all together and tops it with paprika. This is one of my family's absolute favorites. Follow for more easy low carb. Hey guys, let's get lunch together for my husband and I. Sometimes a salad just hits right, so I was in the mood for it today. I've got some romaine lettuce, some cucumber, tomato, onion, hard boiled egg, avocado, and some feta cheese. As I was mixing this together, I still felt like I was missing something. So I also added in some pepperoncinis, pepperoncinis, whatever. You guys always make fun of how I say it anyway, but you know what I mean. Also gonna add in some croutons and give it one more mix. While I was making this, I was cooking up some chicken in my air fryer. I just cut a chicken breast in half, seasoned it really well and air fried it for about 20 minutes. Super tender and delicious. And that's it, super easy lunch and have it with your dressing of choice. Okay, so this is how I make my homemade chicken salad. Chicken is shredded. Let's go ahead and add it to our bowl. Add one cup of mixed veggies. This is all I had, but just find one without corn. Two heaping tablespoons of mayo. And now we have our sour cream. You'll need two tablespoons as well. I'm gonna do this one-handed. Real salt. A teaspoon of chicken bouillon. A little garlic powder. And now we mix. And it needs a tiny little bit of salt. And that's my recipe. For an easy recipe, you have to try this. Hi y'all, today I'm gonna show y'all how I make this pasta salad everyone's been asking me for. We're gonna need some garden farfalle, clamata olives, green olives, olive oil, feta cheese, um, whatever color bell pepper you want. I use half a red onion. I'm gonna use the rest of these tomatoes, half of an English cucumber, and about half of this bag of broccoli. Okay, so when everything is all cut up, um, it should be in equal proportions. You can cut up your olives. I like to leave them whole. Okay, so add your cooled and drained pasta to your bowl. Make sure it's cooled. If you add a hot pasta to your vegetables, they're gonna make your vegetables nasty. Add your feta cheese. I love a lot of feta cheese. About a tablespoon of olive oil. This is my favorite Greek dressing. I just added about half a cup of it. Add some salt and pepper. And you are done. Yum. 
This low carb loaded cauliflower salad is a great recipe to serve at parties. To make it, roast seasoned cauliflower florets for 15 to 20 minutes at 400 degrees. Then add the cauliflower to a bowl along with sour cream and mayonnaise and mix before adding crumbled bacon, shredded cheddar cheese, green onions, hot sauce, and paprika and mixing again. Chill it in the refrigerator before garnishing with some green onions and paprika and serving. Let's make easy Italian pasta salad. This light and healthy summer salad is the perfect dish to bring to your next barbecue. First, you will need one cucumber cut into slices and then quarter those slices. Next, you'll need 10 ounces of cherry tomatoes cut in half. You will also need half a cup of sliced pepperoni. While you're preparing these ingredients, you can boil your pasta. You'll need one pound and I recommend using rotini. It really catches all the flavor of the pasta salad. Once your pasta is cooked, I recommend tossing it with a tablespoon of olive oil to prevent sticking and then placing it in the fridge to cool before you mix it with all the other ingredients. Once your pasta has cooled, add it to a large bowl and add the veggies and sliced pepperoni. Also add one cup of fresh mozzarella pearls. If you don't have the pearls, you can also just chop up fresh mozzarella. Then add one cup of your favorite Italian dressing, one and a half teaspoons of garlic powder, one and a half teaspoons of Italian seasoning, and lots of salt and pepper to taste. And that's it, the perfect summer salad. The full recipe is on my blog. I hope you enjoy.